Hello everyone in the multiverse and beyond. This is your friend forever, Evan LeFevre, with a brand new video. Today, we are going to be discussing a very important topic. We are going to be revealing the secret Illuminati truth about who Heath Ledger really was. And who Heath Ledger really is. Okay. Because in case you didn't know, Heath Ledger is really the ancient Egyptian god Anubis. Okay? And he used advanced technology from the kingdom of heaven to be born a mortal human being so that he could incarnate on planet Earth and fulfill his mission here on planet Earth. Okay? So how did this all begin? We have to understand that I am Evan LeFaver, and I am the biological father of Jesus Christ, and I am the king of the kingdom of heaven, okay? And the kingdom of heaven exists, science fact, in giant spaceships out in outer space, okay? The kingdom of heaven, eternal life after death, it all exists, science fact in giant spaceships deep in outer space okay and a lot of people assume that Jesus Christ is my only son and they would be wrong in assuming that okay because I have other children from the kingdom of heaven that were born in the kingdom of heaven Jesus Christ was my son who was born on planet Earth, okay? But before I had a son that was born on planet Earth, I had family members that were born in the kingdom of heaven. And one of my sons that's born in the kingdom of heaven was named Anubis, okay? And Anubis, my son, he used advanced technology in the kingdom of heaven to be born a mortal human being on planet earth okay so that he could incarnate on this planet and his birth parents his earth parents gave him the name Heath Ledger Heath Andrew Ledger okay and he started out his journey in Australia Okay, but who you know as Heath Ledger, that is just a character that my son Anubis played while he was alive on this planet. You have to understand, the real Heath Ledger, he is a lot more like the Joker. As a matter of fact, the voice he uses in the movie The Dark Knight, where he plays the Joker, the voice he uses for the Joker, that is his real voice. That is Anubis's real voice. That is how he talks. Okay, just he's a lot more like the Joker than he is the timid actor that he portrayed to the public. Okay, Anubis or Heath Heath Ledger, whatever you want to call him, he was portraying a human character. Okay, while he was on this planet, he had to pretend to be human. Okay, and he became an actor in Hollywood because he is interested in not only saving the world but also in creating art okay so the Anubis my son Anubis Heath Ledger okay we go back to ancient Egypt a long time ago deep into the past him and I time traveled from the kingdom of heaven to ancient Egypt okay and that is where they got the story of Anubis okay that is where they first got the story so but the truth is I am the chief judge of all souls I am the Lord of all souls and I'm the king of the kingdom of heaven and Anubis is my second in command Okay, like I said, I had Anubis. Anubis was my son in heaven long before Jesus Christ was ever born. Okay, and 
So he and I, we have a plan, okay? My, our plan is to save this planet from extinction and to bring about true freedom and heaven on earth for everyone alive using advanced 21st century robotics technology okay but you see in the kingdom of heaven while Anubis was named Heath Ledger while he was on earth as Heath Ledger there was still another version of him in heaven because you see my son and I we have omnipresence clearance in the kingdom of heaven which means there can be more than one of us at a time okay so we can be in more than one place at once and we can have two of us in the same room at a time whatever the case may be to make a long story short in heaven there's another version of Heath Ledger and on earth there was Heath Ledger while he was still alive okay just like me okay there's the Evan LeFevre that you see in this video talking to you right now well as you watch this video as I'm making this video there is another version of me in heaven right now in the kingdom of heaven there are other versions of me okay <clears throat> just like when Heath Ledger was alive there were other versions of him in heaven okay and this other version of Heath Ledger had access to technology known as the divine inspiration machine okay and using the divine inspiration machine he was able to we what we we use this machine for is we can div from the kingdom of heaven in outer space we can send thoughts directly into the minds of human beings on earth so that they think that they're having that thought on their own but really this is a thought that we have written and programmed their brain to have okay so the divine inspiration machine allows us to from the kingdom of heaven we can write entire songs books movies and then we choose an artist on earth to be the person to bring that into life and then we use the divine inspiration machine to inspire those thoughts that we've written directly into the mind of a human being on earth so that they think it's them coming up with lyrics for a song or they think it's them coming up with lines for a movie in a movie script that they're writing but really it's us in heaven giving them that through technology divinely inspiring them to write it and before Heath Ledger and I were born on human beings he arrived roughly four years before I did okay even though he's my son he on this earth he was older than me okay because he was born four years before me on earth okay but in heaven he's my son but to make a long story short before we were born Heath Ledger Anubis he divinely inspired the Steve Miller band to write the song the Joker because he was foreshadowing the fact that he was gonna play the Joker in the Dark Knight film okay and from heaven speaking of the Dark Knight from heaven Heath Ledger Anubis divinely inspired the writer of the Dark Knight Christopher Nolan and his co collaborators he divinely inspired them to write that movie script exactly the way it was exactly the way it turned out so if you want to know the truth Heath Ledger wrote the Dark Knight Heath Ledger wrote the part of the Joker into that movie Heath Ledger wrote it from heaven and used the divine inspiration machine to inspire Christopher Nolan and the other co-writers of the film to write it exactly the way he wanted. Okay? Because 
Anubis, my son, Heath Ledger, whatever you want to call him, he wanted to leave a strong message, okay? Because the pen is mightier than the sword. So he wanted, he knew that he was going to die in 2008, but he wanted to leave an uh, important message in the Dark Knight. Because like I said, the Joker character, it's a lot like him. Okay, it's a, based on his personality, his true personality. Like I said, when he was doing the voice of the Joker, that's his real voice. That Australian accent he has in his interviews, that timid Australian accent, that's not Anubis's real voice. His real voice is the Joker's voice, how it sounds and the way he talks in The Dark Knight as the Joker. Okay, and... It was all a setup from heaven to write that movie perfectly for him. And then he got the part because he knew he was going to get the part. Because it was divinely ordained because he's a god. Okay, In, he in the kingdom of heaven, he is a god. He is my son. He is a god. All right, And so we have these kind of powers, these kind of abilities. All right, So he was a god pretending to be a regular human who was an actor. Okay, and while he was in heaven, he also divinely inspired and wrote the um, Terry Gilliam's film. Okay, the Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. Okay, and that was a really a film that was close to Anubis's heart, close to Heath Ledger's heart. Okay, that was his character in. The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus and the whole plot of the film was a lot about his life as Anubis and what we do, okay? Because like I said, my son Anubis and I, Heath Ledger and I, we guide the souls from Earth and other planets to the kingdom of heaven, okay? We provide, we bring them to the afterlife. We bring the souls of the living people from the planet to the afterlife, okay, to the kingdom of heaven. I introduce them to the kingdom of heaven, deep in outer space, and giant spaceships deep in outer space. Okay? So, so he wrote the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus from heaven and divinely inspired the people on earth to write the movie script exactly the way it came out. Okay, and that's also a good film if you haven't seen that and you want to know more about Heath Ledger and Anubis, check out The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. Okay, so that is the moral of the story. All right, back in ancient Egypt, I was known as Amen and Osiris and. Heath, Heath Ledger was known as uh, Anubis, okay? And so the Illuminati secret of it all, okay, is that, you know, now you know what the secret is, that Heath Ledger was not a normal person. He was a god disguised as a normal person here bringing a very important message to the world, okay? in this end times that we're facing currently all right and in 2008 he had to leave this world where he faked his death to leave this world so that he could return to the kingdom of heaven and return to the future okay because now another illuminati secret and i'm going to make another video on this but the film Tomorrowland from Walt Disney Pictures is also about this true story that we're in. Okay, the Illuminati secret is Tomorrowland is based on a true story because in the future, time travelers from the future brought me, Evan LeFevre, into the future where anything is possible. Okay, and... To make a long story short, 
time travel is possible science fact immortality is possible so we created the kingdom of heaven as it exists today in giant starships in outer space giant spaceships in outer space we created the kingdom of heaven and science fact eternal life and we use time travel technology to do it and we use other technology to relocate people's souls when they die with their new bodies in heaven okay and we also use time machines to bring people members of the Illuminati different historical figures from the past we literally use time machines to abduct them and bring them to the future but stay tuned to my videos check out my other videos and look for Tomorrowland Illuminati symbolism okay because I made a I'm gonna make a video on that as well where I get a little deeper into that but to make a long story short he, um, Heath Ledger faked his death and left this planet in and he in a time machine and went to the future okay because he is an immortal he was an immortal before being born a human on this planet and he is an immortal as we speak Heath Ledger Anubis he is in the kingdom of heaven as we speak still using the divine inspiration machine technology to divinely inspire artists in Hollywood because that's how the Illuminati works okay we have different Illuminati artists in Hollywood who we use this technology the divine inspiration machine we use it on them to tell specific stories through these movies where we hide messages in plain sight with symbolism and to prepare the people of the world for the truth about this true story that we're all in right now okay so I didn't want the video to go on for too long but now you know the truth okay Heath Ledger was not just a regular human being he is an ancient Egyptian God he is an immortal he is my heavenly son and now you know he's still alive in the kingdom of heaven as we speak he didn't want to leave his daughter and his wife behind he didn't want to leave them behind but he had to okay when you travel to the future you're making a commitment you're leaving this timeline when you leave this timeline you're making a specific commitment to go to the future to go to heaven so um so now you know but Heath Ledger is really cool. Anubis is really cool. All right. You know, he's a genius. He's a great creative artist and a craftsman. And, you know, I'm making this video on Memorial Day because, you know, it's sad now that it's been, he passed away. The world's been without him since 2008. And that's a long time ago it's 2015 right now when I'm making this video okay and so that's that's a long time that's seven years now all right so it's it's pretty depressing that the world no longer has him with us but he is still influencing this world as we speak okay he is still touching this world believe me okay and you can contact Heath Ledger if you want to. You can reach out and talk to him in your mind. Your spirit can reach out to Heath Ledger or Anubis or whatever you want to call him. And if you hear his voice, it sounds like the Joker. <laughs> then you know you're talking to him. Okay. So that is the truth. The secret Illuminati truth about Heath Ledger. He is Anubis, the ancient Egyptian god who is not not only is he ancient but he's still around and he's up with the times okay so now you know all right and if you're new to the channel this is your first video you've seen a mine or whatever check out some of my other videos for more informative and stimulating topics like this and don't forget to subscribe and yeah, thanks a lot for watching the video. 
I am your friend forever, Evan LeFevre, and I will see you next video.